almost all parts of a Koenigsegg is made out of carbon fiber. And we only use the most extreme type of carbon fiber material available, which is called prepreg. Uh, it's the same that's been used in Formula One and uh, fighter jets and spaceships and things like that. It's a pre-impregnated uh, fiber with two component epoxy. Uh, usually it's a weave format, uh, so it's woven. It can be different types of fibers for different purposes and different type of weave patterns for different purposes. And we apply them layer by layer in different thicknesses depending on what part we make and what need we have. Um, so right now this is very flexible, it's a little bit sticky, almost like a sticker uh, decal. And uh, we apply it into a negative tool. In this case, it's a carbon fiber wheel tool. Uh, we're the, first, uh, the world's first car manufacturer to make carbon fiber wheels, actually. And uh, it's the most important, part to ha uh, most important area of the car to have really lightweight because it's rotational unsprung mass. So not only is it uh, uh, bumping up and down, it's also rotating. So you have to accelerate it and deaccelerate it when you're on the throttle and on the brakes. And when you're turning, you have centrifugal forces uh, getting into the wheels and, and uh, disturbing your uh, steering feel and things like that. So one of the most important things on a car to make really light and strong and stiff are the wheels. And that's why we make them out of carbon fiber, as carbon fiber is the strongest, lightest, commercially available material there is. Um, so what we're seeing here is a layup, and we will follow this process through, uh, through baking and, and uh, demolding and polishing, so you will see how that happens. So uh, we've been producing carbon fiber wheels now for our cars for one and a half year. Uh, so it means that almost, uh, almost 20 sets of wheels have been made in, uh, for production cars but also for prototypes. And uh, it's something we're very proud of to have this technology in-house uh, as we're, I'm aware we're the only ones in the world making carbon fiber wheels for production cars. Um, so what we're seeing here is the first stage and here we're getting to the second stage uh, where we have uh, the other part of the tool which is the the barrel area and as you can see there are several different layups of uh, thicknesses of carbon and different types of weaves and different types of overlapping and it's very critical to have stiffnesses in, in this area for handling because you don't want to have uh, even though the wheel is safe you don't want it to flex in this area because it dilutes your camber settings uh, so we pay a lot of attention to have perfect stiffness much stiffer than most uh, racing aluminium wheels even um, what you don't see here is uh, the very intricate area of the spokes. As the spokes are hollow and the center of the wheel is also hollow, it's um, a very special process to get, make that happen really. And it's, it's one of the proprietary technologies we have, so we can't show it on camera. Um, but now what we're doing is we're packaging this into a vacuum bag uh, to uh, uh, debulk it and compress the material before it's going into the autoclave, where it's baked under pressure and, and, and the material is compressed together. So many people uh, might think this is difficult to balance as it's uh, laid up by hand and you have all these different layers and so on, but what we've noticed is that they are uh, intrinsically more balanced than uh, uh, casted or forged aluminium wheels. Um, what we actually do is we have, a, the only metal part in the wheel is the, is the is the valve to fill up air into the wheel. And uh, we have noticed that they, we tend to have to put balance on the other side of the wheel uh, to where we have the, the valve. And of course, a light wheel is more sensitive to the imbalance of the valve. So what we do is actually on the spoke on the opposite side of the valve, we put a little bit of like extra ballast carbon fiber there to pre-balance the wheel already in production. So we need very little um, uh, waiting on the wheel when we put a tire on. Of course the tires themselves have some imbalances that we also try to match to the wheels uh, natural imbalance so we, they balance each other out. So sometimes we take the tire off of and on of the wheel to match it as perfectly as possible in order to have as little uh, uh, dead weight on the wheel as possible. Yeah, so we're now preparing the wheel for uh, uh, autoclave curing. So it's going in a vacuum bag and this is a breather uh, felt to make sure we get a good spread of the pressure over the, of the wheel, the pressure difference, so there are no voids that get stuck. What you can see here is uh, 
probably the coolest part of our wheel is that we have, this is a cutout of a spoke and the spokes are actually empty and hollow. Even the center of the wheel is hollow and uh, you can see it's also smooth on the inside. So we have a very special process to make this happen, which we developed together with the wheel. And uh, just to understand how strong this wheel is, if you do carbon fiber the correct way with the right material, the right layup and the right fiber type, simply explained, you can, you can uh, consider the, the thickness of the material to be as strong as if it was this thick and made out of steel. So then you can imagine how strong a, a tube section like this is, and especially in this area when you see how thick that is. So it's an immensely strong and reliable wheel, but still extremely lightweight. So when it comes to safety aspects and let's say potholes and flat spot and, and curbing a wheel like this, uh, first of all, when it comes to kind of impact from sharp edges like sidewalks and potholes, uh, a wheel like this will survive a much harder impact than a forged aluminium wheel before it loses its air pressure. So in, from that as aspect, it's a safer type of wheel. Uh, and you can't really flat spot it. It's either okay or it's, it, it's damaged and broken, but it takes much more force to break it than an al aluminum wheel. So that's also a good thing. Uh, when it comes to kind of curbing it and scratching it, uh, of course you will break the, uh, the nice outer layer weave, but as long as it is not uh, too deep, you can repair it. You might get um, a visible difference to the wheel, but it will still be fine to drive with. Uh, but as, as these wheels also are very aesthetically, well, the, the aesthetic factor is also very important. I would say most people who get really heavy curb scratching would probably replace it even though it's fine to drive with. So here we have a, a final produced wheel and uh, the, the finish of the part coming out of the tool is actually so good that we only polish it, we don't put a layer of clear coat over it. Uh, it's no pinholes and, and perfect tooled surface. And the nice thing when you polish carbon fiber you get a really distinctive uh, uh, checkered effect look for the, this kind of flip flop between black and silver. It's very distinctive. And of course, not having clear coat and instead it's just raw carbon, it's actually more difficult to scratch it as well. It's a harder surface than uh, an acrylic paint would be. What we do is we, we polish it and wax it with a UV protective kind of wax surface just to have a little bit of UV protection to it. But uh, this type of carbon fiber and epoxy does not yellow over time, so uh, it stays like this pretty much forever. You see from the back side as well. So it's just carbon here and it's actually hollow inside. You can, if you put your finger in here, you can feel the hollowness inside the wheel. So as I said before, the only metal part normally is this valve up here, which is not put into place yet. So this is a 19 inch high and 10 inch wide uh, front wheel. In the rear, we have 20 inch high and 12.5 uh, uh, inch wide. Um, we, before the carbon fiber wheels, we had uh, forged aluminum wheels, which were very, very light. The front wheel was around uh, 10 kilos. Uh, this one is just under 6 kilos. It's 5.9 kilos. So it's about a 40% weight saving to the lightest uh, forged aluminum wheel there is, pretty much. Uh, so just to show you on camera what that means, I can take it in my finger here, just lift it like that. Not that heavy. I think when people uh, hear that we're using carbon fiber wheels, they kind of s start thinking, ooh, it must be difficult when you hit a curb to make it uh, strong enough or even uh, potholes and 
or, or, or uh, sidewalk edges and stuff like that. But, th but that's kind of easy compared to, to handle compared to the fact that we have these massive huge brakes generating incredible amounts of heat. Uh, stopping the car from 300 kilometers to zero in 6.6 .6 seconds. It's just a massive generation of heat. So uh, in order to cope with that and make sure the wheel withstands that heat, we have to work with very special uh, 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 pre-preg material, very special epoxies and uh, after-treatment processing uh, to get the wheel to take that heat in, in, in a good way. So. Uh, yeah, that's, that was the biggest challenge and, and something we're very proud of to have overcome.